you remember seeing, you know, Diana dancing wildly to Duran Duran at Wembley while Charles was just standing there next to her. He just, they weren't yeah. equal. No, they weren't. And, and, they, and, and they, weren't, they weren't really very matched. I don't think they were terribly well matched emotionally or intellectually. I think they had very different upbringings, very different outlooks. Charles is extremely well read, quite sort of literary. He's quite a deep thinker. And I don't, I mean, Diana had many talents and she was one incredibly compassionate and kind and obviously really good with people, but I don't think she was a deep thinker mm. and I don't imagine they had an awful lot to talk about. Whereas I think probably Camilla, you know, I've, having had a few conversations with her, she can talk about anything. She's very well read. She's obsessed with books, as we know. She does her book podcast. Yeah. But Richard, Richard probably knows. What a shame he didn't marry her in the first place. Oh, yeah. 